Like most good design projects, let's start off with the basic design and modeling inside SOLIDWORKS. The first thing I want to leverage is I want to show you some of the new enhancements regarding the actual interface. In this case, my task is to finish this part up, do some extrusions, and then do some circular patterns of the extrusion. Sometimes it's pretty hard and difficult to see things when all the colors are similar hues. So new for SOLIDWORKS 2021 is the ability to come in here and see colors, but on top of that, you can now see the color palette directly on the um, color scheme settings window, which makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for, in this case, my inactive sketches, and change it to a color that's maybe a little bit more appropriate or a little bit easier to see. Now, some of my users always ask me, hey, Roland, how do I get more screen space? New for 2021 is the ability to collapse the command manager by coming up here to the top right and simply click, clicking on the collapse window. On top of that, we can clean up the interface a little bit more by moving the quick access tools, which is this set of tools right here, from the menu bar over to the command manager. Now, we're, while we're here, I want to make it a little bit easier to navigate through my interface without constantly moving my cursor. One of my favorite new search functionalities is actually this functionality in the shortcut bars. You can now come in here and search directly for any tool that you're looking for by simply typing in that search short, the search for in the actual menu. In this case, I want to add a few shortcuts into my shortcut bar by simply dragging and dropping. You can use this search menu and add uh, functions and features to anywhere in the interface. So I'll go ahead and add the undo and redo commands up here to my quick access toolbar. Now that we've done some of the customizations to our interface, let's go ahead and finish this design out. I'll go ahead and select my sketch. I'll use my shortcut bar and create this extrude cut to extrude the entire part. Now what's nice is by customizing your shortcut bar, you can limit the amount of traveling directly on your interface by putting your most common features into um, your shortcuts. In this case, we'll go ahead and finish this design out by doing this circular pattern. Now sometimes I do something that I'm not really fond of, and a lot of people, just like myself included, will use this undo command. Now, if you've been using SOLIDWORKS for some time, you know that undo has always been a little bit of a challenge because if you went a little back, if you went too far back, um, you didn't have the ability to do a redo all the way through the feature tree. Now in 2021, the redo and undo is a more complete functionality. By simply clicking on this redo, I can go back and forth inside my feature tree, undoing and bringing back work that I've already created.